Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we'll we'll see what there. happens. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Cool. All right, everybody. Yep. Here we go. Here we go. This is 2OF Entertainment. Well, here we go. It's the man that promises you nothing and delivers. It's the veritable man motor mouth. It's Road Woods who feels the need to call himself Rob Vega. It somehow makes him feel important. Anyway, do have a listen and try not to throw up. Oh, sorry, we started. Okay, big yes, right. yeah, the fans like to hear Love it. Thing. But anyway, no, I, I almost I feel like do. every time that music plays, I it feels like a beatnik. I feel like I should have like a little, like little thing right here going like this, and just be like, you know, just like on the bongos and. There you go. I'm so glad you don't, though. <laughs> I'm so, yeah, so am I. So yeah, I don't. I don't see. Me, I don't see me carrying a uh, well, well, Yeah, I don't. That yeah. Oh so, God! All right. For the, for the yeah the podcast. So, so yeah. Oh, um, well, I mean, every week it's quite a it's quite an interesting thing because we we just I mean this is bullshit. What we do is absolute bullshit, and that's the theme. I always come to us and I say, well, all right, what bullshit can we come up with this week? And oh, and this the challenge is always. I mean, sometimes we get all sort of serious and, but right. I, I I I don't want to do that because there's like there's reams of that crap out there. Everybody's shouting at each other. And, oh, this didn't go my way and oh the world's right. ending and oh people don't hear me and where's my safe space and oh, oh, oh and i've got a cure for this and i'm going to fix the world and it's it's unbelievable you know what's amazing for me about this planet is there's so much information and so much ignorance right. at the same time isn't that extraordinary I, I have, I it's so. amazing i have amazing. something that is going to bring the world together Oh, it's gonna make the blue. world come together as one. I know what it is: peanut okay. butter, peanut butter, <laughs> no? No? peanut butter okay. and chocolate. I'm, so, well, that brings people together in a in a fun way. What I do mean, you got? This, this, is, what, this is what's going to bring the world together tomorrow okay. night. The Jake tomorrow Paul night. Mike Tyson fight. Oh fuck! That is going to bring the world together because Iron Mike is going to combine hatred for bullshit. Right. What? Right. Can I, you know, no, no, you know why? Come on, what a lot I, of I love Mike. I've loved my listen. I remember Mike Tyson when he was a kid. Mike Tyson, I, I think, is a few, he's a few years younger than I am. He's a few I'm years older than me, quite a few. Yeah, but I'm yes, a, I'm watching him train. The man, mm -hmm. and I mean this as a compliment, is an animal. Like, oh, yeah. you know, he, he literally, he's, his sparring partner says, I've only been knocked out twice. And he says, and, and the second time was last week when I sparred with Mike Tyson. And meanwhile, this right. guy's got like, you know, but. a motorcycle helmet, headgear, and whatever, and he's like, he's still an animal. And I'm like, oh, it's gonna be. Oh, a yes. fight. I will say this: I, yeah. I've seen pictures of me. He looks in great shape, but yes, be does. under no illusion that yeah. uh, I mean, Mike Tyson was 20 years old when he won the World Heavyweight Championship. He was 20, That's true. and I remember that because under the weird drinking laws you got over there, he couldn't actually celebrate. Which is like, really? So the yeah. World Heavyweight Champion? I mean, who's gonna tell him? I'm sorry, sir. We can't serve you champagne. That's right. <laughs> oh, yes, you will. But uh, so what I'm saying is 20-year-old Mike Tyson would yeah. beat the living shit out of how old's he now? 57? He would he would, be, seven, yeah. he would he would beat himself up. There's no question. Yeah. So let's just be clear. Young Mike Tyson, I mean, this fight would be over in 10 seconds. I mean, Not even. Yeah. I mean, the, the the people that Mike Tyson has destroyed. Yeah. And 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 not just not just Oh, you hit me with a big punch! I yeah. bang, goodbye. Yeah. And and he has such a and and what what amazes me about Mike Tyson? God, I can't believe I'm talking about Mike Tyson. What amazes me about Mike Tyson is people always think you know he's got that funny voice and yeah. he he is a very very smart guy. Yeah. He has he has he before he got into fighting, he was an absolute absolute student of the sport of the mm -hmm. discipline. He knew everything about every boxer, every technique. So he he might well be one of the most scientific fighters ever. And then yeah. he brings all of that with this and that. Good night. Yeah. Goodbye. I, Goodbye. Yeah. I, and I'm not taking anything away from Mr. Paul. I mean, I've seen him train. Hmm. 
Um, he just looks like a fat little kid to me. And I don't mean that in a bad way. It's just, you know, you had to bulk up for the yes, fight. You do. Yeah, yeah, you do. Not he's got, <laughs> he's got a hot, hey, listen, he's got some Olympic girlfriend, so he's got that going for him. But anyway, but he looks like this chubby little kid. And I'm sure I, I don't want to get in the ring with him because I'm sure he would kill me. But I'm watching Tyson and I'm just like, Mikey has a few mm -hmm. extra pounds, but I'm watching him hit stuff. And I'm like, I, I don't want to be hit my by my Tyson with pads or no pads. And I'm looking at Jake Paul. And I'm like, yeah, you know what? I put pads on and let him take one. I'm good. You know, it's, it's just that I see the intensity yeah. more in Tyson. Yeah, but this, this also, um, I mean, I think of the, the, the chap, my, my sensei that I used to train with. I mean, he was in his, um, he was in his seventies when he unfortunately passed away from cancer, but he was, he was, I mean, he was, he was solid. And he was, yeah. he must have been, yeah, he was in his mid seventies and he was unfortunate, as I say, he passed away and uh, fortunately very quickly. So there was that, there was, but not great, L a, a superhuman being, but right. um, don't let the age thing uh, fool you. He no. was, and, and here's the thing. He had a lifetime of training, of, of sparring, of actual fighting that all just backed up and made him this, this, this rock solid but peaceful man it was the weirdest yeah. thing now mike tyson I, I mean i haven't seen him lately I, i've seen little stupid instagram posts of him i don't know what it, exactly what he's doing and i i always take those things with a pinch of salt a lot of social media stuff i go yeah i mean there's been social media posts about the fight being over i'm going really okay right. fake i thank you for your work goodbye right. um but the reality is that mike tyson is a 40 year veteran of the ring. Mm -hmm. And that is what this, this other guy doesn't have. And I'm, I must be honest, when I first heard about the fight, I went, okay, so he's like a third of Mike Tyson's age. Yeah. That's the only plus in his column, everything else. Um, Mike Tyson on a bad day when he's had 10 beers and he's as <laughs> chubby as can be, is still gonna kick the living shit out of just about anyone. Yeah. even with the four or five years of training this kid has done. And and I have to say, um, what, what, how was this? If, if Mike Tyson were to lose this, I would yeah. call bullshit. But God help this other kid if he wins. Because if yeah. Mike Tyson, I believe, and I'm going to say this, look, I don't care what the res result is. It's all going to be bullshit. But yeah. the, the correct result, the real result, would be Mike Tyson walking in the ring saying, hello, and it's over. <laughs> Boom. Right. Good night. The yeah. end. Now, that's not going to be greatly entertaining. It's going to right. kill all the YouTube views. And they're going to go, no, we well, don't do that. Because we need some, right. you know, pay-per-view, blah, blah, blah. Okay, We need right. some We need some of yes, this. Good advertising. Netflix, okay. So it's not. It's not any of that. And they have five yeah. other bouts before but, the fight. But they, you, I mean, the producers or whoever's putting this together are going to go, can you guys at least make this five minutes long? Because I can tell you now, if Mike yeah. Tyson wanted to, I'm going to... Like we, like we thought Trump was going to win. I'm going to put yeah. my thing on a block and say, whatever you want, what should happen, what is probably, right. what, what would happen in, in an honest world. Mike Tyson lands one right here or there. Yeah, yeah it's done. It's, it's like hitting a truck. It's like a semi. It's just hit you. Bang. Yeah. I mean, he I is, agree. he, I've seen him knock six foot six men off their feet. Yep. I mean, people are going on about the fact, you know, he's a little shorter than the guy. Every fighter was taller than Mike Tyson. He sure. was the, he was one of the smallest guys. I think he's, what's he, 5'11". He's one of the shortest heavyweight, uh, 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 heavyweight fighters in the division. That was right. never an issue. In fact, it was a plus. And he was, oh, my God. I don't know if this is a good idea, Stephen. I think it's, if, if it's just for shits and giggles and they're going to raise money and whatever, or they're going to raise money for themselves, they're raising money for themselves. Then, then Mike Tyson's okay. getting, I think, $30 million. Jake Paul says okay. if he can last all four rounds, I'll give him an extra $5 million. And I don't think Tyson, Tyson's got, like, cannabis stores. He's got podcasts. I mean, Tyson's making money. I think his wife's an attorney, if I'm not mistaken. Right. Um, so he's not hurting. He's great. So, so he's, I'm thinking Mike's going to go in else there, is gonna be and hurting. Mike's going to be like, I don't need the extra five million, and I'm thinking it's either it's either over in thirty seconds, or it's going to go the distance because Mikey doesn't have it anymore. But I will tell you an interesting Sorry, what fact would... I heard yesterday, and I read okay. before you ask. Yeah, Mike yep. Tyson had more amateur fights than Jake Paul's had professional fights. 
How's that? I, I, yeah, it, it's it's it, this obviously it's obviously just for money. Let's be honest. It's like the oh, whole yeah, what course. was it? Netflix like is the whole be thrilled. You remember the whole Conor McGregor Floyd Mayweather thing? Do me yeah, a yeah, yeah, favor. Yeah. I mean, come on, Floyd Mayweather. Yeah. Are you kidding me, Conor McGregor? Do me yeah. a favor. I mean, Floyd Mayweather is unbelievable. Conor McGregor, yeah. uh, how are you doing on a love you madly? No, sorry. And 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 ditto for this 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 guy, this Paul guy. I mean, this is Mike yeah. Tyson. I mean, are you get yeah. real? I don't know what's your what's your biggest um well uh, NFL football, what you would call football. What is your biggest football team there? It depends who you talk to. They're all, you know. Pick one. Def- one of def- them. Just pick one. Oh, I'm a New Yorker, so it's either going to be the Jets or the Giants, and they both suck. So okay, who's the gonna... crappiest? Who's the crappiest team? Really like the Jets just... or the Giants? <laughs> all right, so it's the Giants and the Jets. Is it? Is that right? There you go. There you go. Okay, Let's go with so, that. so that's what's going on here, and you know what's going to happen. You know who's going to win. You know who should win, and if it doesn't all happen right. that way, you go, yeah, I call bullshit on that. Okay. But. All right. That's that's the thing. If this was a genuine fight, let's be honest, Stephen, this yeah. would be over in seconds. Mike Tyson oh, yeah. would, would have him, even at the age of whatever he is. 56. So you know what they're going to do? That's, if two minute yeah. rounds instead of three. Um, I think yeah. they, they said that's because they didn't want Mike to tire out. And I'm thinking, no, I just don't think they want Jake to get beaten up for 180 seconds. <laughs> Who gets the extra? You mentioned Tyson gets an extra five. Did you say he gets an extra $5 million? For? That's what Jake Paul said. He said he'd give him extra $5 million if he can make it to the fourth round, Will. Make who? who? Who gets the extra Tyson, five million? The four. Mike Tyson, Jake Paul said, Mike, I'll give you $5, $5 million extra if you can get to the fourth round with me. And I'm well, it won't you, happen because Jake Paul won't get to the fifth round, fourth round with Mike Tyson. He's got it the wrong uh, way around. It's it, surely. It's like, please don't knock I mean, me out in the first 30 seconds. I'll give you $5 million. I that think, be- I think <laughs> the real offer, if you look at the contract, it said, Mike, if you don't knock me out and kill me in the first three yeah. rounds and you let me get to the fourth round, yeah. then there's another five million. That makes sense for me. I that would be because, Mike, we've got to make the, you, we, we're entertainers, mate. I mean, please. Yeah. So we've got people watching. We want them yeah, yeah. to watch something that lasts at least like 10 minutes. So yeah. we need at least four rounds. So if you can do that for me, do me a solid. There's five mil for you. It's not that you will. Well, you lost four rounds with Jake Paul. Are you kidding me? Please. Right, right. But here's the funny thing, though. It's not <laughs> professional wrestling. We're professional wrestling. Granted, it is a show, but they're, they're athletes and they get hurt and they do. And like, I would, that's a, that's, that's a, that's a sport yeah. beyond the sport, right? That's a, that's yes. like, What's it's scripted. Better? You know what's going to happen. You got to pull, you got to do, but you still have to be an athlete to do it. Boxing. Sorry, hang on. Not, Vin, sorry. What, what Vince? What Vince? Vince says yeah, that's okay. bullshit. The fighters actually get hurt. Yeah, bullshit. It, it, Carry on. Well, actually, some some of them do. Um, but I'm yeah, just saying, but but, but are they they stunt men. They are professional well, stunt men. That's what they are. And can I tell? And great athletes. Let's not take very that good athletes. The, I mean, oh, like, I'm a, I, sorry. Let me hold you, Steve. I did a I did a, a thing for one of the chicken brands here, and I yeah. had to be of all things an American commentator. Okay. And one of the stunts was we had to have we got these wrestler guys to yeah, yeah. Uh, land on the table in front of us. So right. they had to uh, uh, dance around and do their stuff in the ring. And then yeah. the one guy threw the other guy out the ring and he had to land. And it was a steel table. So he had oh. to plant himself. He had to fall properly, but he did. He landed right in the middle of the table and he got yeah. up and he went, oh, that was a little bit of a scratch. But the point is, it looked very dramatic, very yeah. impressive, and no one got hurt. He could have gotten right. seriously hurt. If he had yeah. judged something incorrectly, he would have been hurt. So I yeah. would say in that sport, look, it's spectacularly entertaining. Don't get me wrong. It's spectacularly yeah. entertaining and good luck to them. And it's fantastic. I am I have no problem with that. It's better entertainment than the influencer shit on Instagram. Right. So I have no problem with that. And they'd make no bones about it. It's all right. fake. It's fine. Yep. But this, how do yeah. you fake boxing? You can't. That's what That's what I'm saying. There's no way you're going to say to Mike Tyson, listen, we want you to pull your punches for three rounds. And on the fourth mm-hmm. round, you can like kill the guy. I think Mike only has one speed and that's just full out. Yeah. And I don't think he's going to pull anything. I don't think $5 million to Mike makes or break him with all the other business ventures. And I think. For so Mike, what happens? A thing. What happens if he gets in the ring? Let's yeah. say this happens. And I, I genuinely think it might, unless there's something, I don't know, maybe Mike lost a leg and we don't know about it. I don't know. Okay. Um, I mean, there's got to be something we're not seeing. Um, right. Either he's going to throw the fight, in which case, oh, come on. So, really? No, but no, I don't think he will. But this is okay. what's going to happen. He's either going to get into the ring 
and it's right. going to be all Mike Tyson because that's what people are there to watch. I would watch right. it to see Mike Tyson, and I expect Mike Tyson to be Mike Tyson, nothing yes. less. Right. And if he and if Mike Tyson is Mike Tyson, that fight is over in the first round. Done. Finished. If it isn't, then I'm not watching Mike Tyson, and I have been cheated. Now I'm mm. watching some bullshit, some some WW whatever thing, and right. and that's not what I signed up for. I wanted to see Mike Tyson. I want to see him. I want to see yeah. that power. I want to see that that ferocity. That's what it. That's what's amazing, entertaining about his skill. That's why I'm watching. If I don't see Mike Tyson, bullshit. So either that happens, in which case the fight is over in ten seconds, and everybody goes, right. "Well, um, yeah. shit, can we can we do a rerun?" Or, that's a short. Uh, that's a good short for Instagram. That'll get ten yeah. billion views. <laughs> well, maybe that's what they'll use it for because that's yeah. what the only thing it's good for. Or he gets into the ring and he right. he's doing this crap. And yeah, Paul's yeah. landing some jokes, uh, shots. And I mean, Mike Tyson has got one of the best. Uh, I, I'm not a boxing expert, but right, good right. luck getting anything through to Mike. I mean, he is just yeah. wow. That's his thing. He's got such a good defensive g game, strategy, tactic, whatever. Brilliant. Yeah. Like Sugar Ray Leonard. Do you remember Sugar Ray Leonard? Good luck hitting Sugar him. Leonard. Yeah. Good luck hitting him. Now, yeah. Mike Tyson is 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 such a his def his I remember his defense was just so unbelievable. Yeah, yeah you could get one through and you'd go, oh, boom, and you're done. Right. And it's kind of like when Muhammad it, Ali was in his prime. You could never hit Muhammad yeah. Ali in his prime. Yeah. Now, okay. even Mike Tyson at whatever age is uh, you said he's in great shape. So yeah. by all rights, we're gonna get mostly Mike Tyson. And and yeah. and and the thing is, it's gonna be over quickly. And if it's not, then it's it's bullshit. And then yeah. it's all a joke. So what what is the point of this whole thing? Apart from you say to make money, but yeah. the only thing that's gonna be worthwhile is the 10 seconds on Instagram that, that's gonna that's it. So the point the point seems to be that so from what I understand and from what I've read, Jake Paul was it was a was a Disney kid, you know, came up with the mouse and getting touched by priests, I guess. I don't know however that works. Um so he was a Disney kid. <laughs> And, and all right, maybe the mouse touched him. I don't know. Anyway, so he was a Disney kid, and he became an Instagram influencer or whatever, has 100 million followers, blah, 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 Well, his blah. brother does stuff as well, isn't he? His brother's a... Uh, no, he's, yeah. I think, bigger. So I think from what I got <laughs> gathered is like one day he woke up and decided he wants to be a boxer, and no one took him seriously. So he would challenge... I don't want to say has-beens, but not, you know, the, the B and the C list, which was like an MMA fighter, a boxer. Yeah. And everyone has said, you haven't really fought a boxer. You have not fought a professional, like a real boxer. Um, and I, so I think he's had six or seven fights. I think he's lost one or, or whatever. So when Tyson is supposed to make him look like, because Tyson's the GOAT, he's supposed to make, if I beat Mike Tyson, look what I've done. And I'm thinking to myself, dude, He's 30 years older than you. If you beat him, it's just because he's an old, he's an older gentleman. Number two, I don't, Mike's not going in there to lose. Mike's going to fight until Mike can't fight anymore. Like either he's going to die in the what? ring or he's going to give you until there's nothing left. So I'm thinking for Michael, it's more of a, I get to get in the ring again and punch somebody legally. I think for him, it's going to, this is great. It's like, I'm a gladiator. I, you know, this is what he does. I'm going to punch your lights out. I'm going to punch right. your lights out. And I wouldn't say that to Mike Tyson's face. I know. I'm just going to come on the show next week. You can say it to him. Um, oh, but yeah, it, great, it, 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 hey, Mike. Yeah, good luck with that, Ron. But I'm sick. Um, but it, with, with Jake Paul, it seems that he's trying to elevate him in the in professional boxing. So if you just say he beats Mike Tyson, I think he's hoping that the WBC or W whoever is going to let him come in now and be Never. like a contender. Yeah, and I don't. Never. I'm like, you're not fighting their no. their guys. You're picking your own. What an if that is his motivation, then yeah. if I was a professional boxer, I'd be going, what is this bullshit? Who is this yeah. guy? He's yeah. some YouTuber. Do right. do YouTubing, mate. Get out of my ring, literally and figuratively. Stay out right. of my lane. You do you. You can have your little stage fights with these old timers or whatever, but yeah. under no so can allude, be under no illusion that you are a now a professional boxer, which right. takes an extraordinary amount of dedication Oh, and work and a lifetime of training and you come in what five years and and now you're gonna oh look at me no i think that's if it's just for a show then done because we're sitting right. here talking about it 
But right. anything more than that, no. It's not more than that. It's not like this guy's going to suddenly be taken seriously as a professional boxer. Let's say, let's say he has something happens, God knows what, and right. and 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 he does. It, Mike gets knocked out for whatever reason. I can't yeah. see it, but let's say we're living in that hypothetical universe, and that happens. Right? Okay. Now, now he's going to go and fight a proper boxer in his weight division. He'll get his ass cleaned. Done. Finished. Goodbye. No yeah. question. He's not in the league of boxers in his weight division or his age. Not even close. Yeah. Not even close. These guys who've done this for decades, never, yeah. never. So his first professional fight, he will be goodbye. Done. He might be actually. I think you're calling these professional fight. I think it's almost like he's trying to create his own little boxing association, you know, instead of for being who? part of the WBC for himself so he can fight people. But so. the problem, the problem is, Steve, it's, I, I mean, I... I was a fairly good cricket player at school, but I'm not right. going to go and join the National League or something. Like, I mean, I'll get my ass handed to me. I was right. really good at school, but I'm not on a, a – I mean, this guy's thinking he's on a, on a global scale. Never. Level. Yeah. No. Yeah. Mike Tyson is – Mike Tyson, there are very few boxers in history that could actually take on Mike Tyson, any of them. Yeah. And, and, and who's this guy? Some. I'm not disparaging him as a person. I mean, that's just – this is Mike Tyson. Mike yeah. Tyson. It's not just <laughs> anybody. This is Mike right. Tyson. Tyson, yeah. You yeah. know, this is, the yeah, guy who would the, break he's... people's jaws, literally. Yeah. Big Mike. guys, strong Mike. guys, tough guys, tall guys, freaking uh, uh, Optimus Prime Transformer guys. Yeah. You know, oh, big know. buggers. Yeah. And, and that thought they could, ah, I'm going to take you on, Mike. Off your feet, boom, good night, yep. next. Yeah. I uh, don't well, see. And, well, tomorrow yeah. night, for the world that's not familiar with what's going on, and the only reason I know is because it's one of my friends sent me something on it, and I read about it, and I was like, I'm not going to watch this because I'm not buying no. pay-per-view. And he's like, no, idiot, it's on Netflix for free. And I was like, oh, well, now I'm watching it. <laughs> so explain um, to me, yeah. explain to me, okay, yeah. just on a side note. So sure. they're going to do this, and somebody potentially could get very badly injured. Sure. Um, I part of me wishes someone would, and then part of me wishes I hope someone doesn't. Right. But right, right. I wouldn't want to be even on my after ten years of training and whatever in the ring with Mike Tyson because I could probably die yeah. if he hit me hard enough. And and I'm I'm I mean I can take care of myself. What I'm saying is. Right. Why would you think? Why would you? Were well, you stupid? What do you hope to accomplish? I mean, it, it's 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 yeah. it's suicide by the ring, and yeah. and I hope this kid's okay. I I'm genuinely concerned. Yeah. I, I think like if, boom, if boom, Mike wanted see. to do something, yeah. it would yeah. be. He's not a professional boxer, Stephen. This yeah, guy's I not know. a professional boxer. They're using heavier gloves. I remembered that part from the last thing I read, like six months yeah. ago when it was supposed to be in July. So I guess it'll lessen the blow. But I remember watching a fight once when Boom Boom Mancini um, oh, yeah. killed the kid in the ring. And I was like, I was watching it live because CBS used to have boxing on Saturdays. And I was like, oh, cool. I can watch. And I love Boom Boom Mancini. And I'm watching him box. I'm like, he's, I said to myself, they got to get this kid out of the ring. This kid came to defend against Boom Boom. And just as I thought that, he landed that punch that knocked him out. And then the kid passed away, I guess, like a day or two later. And I know Boom Boom never fought again. But I'm like, I'm, I think, it's, to your point, half the people watching are hoping they have this Boom Boom Mancini moment. Um, where Tyson, And the other half are going to be like you and I, like, no one should get hurt. If you knock him out, let him get up. You know, like, and he's healthy, we're good type of thing. Um, I'm just trying to think. Um What's the guy? He was was he a, was he from was he a, a Korean fighter? The, the guy, guy that he knocked out. Seen he killed. Yeah, I was he? I can look it up. I don't know. Let's find um, out. Uh, Kim um, Kim something. I, I don't remember what was about. Was about was about ten years ago. Was it fifteen years oh, ago? More like twenty or thirty years ago. Are you twenty kidding? years. Okay. Okay. No. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No. This was about two thousand, wasn't it? Somewhere around there. I don't know. Because um, now was, now you have a look. A I don't know. Ago. I remember that fight. Boom Boom Here's Mancini, the by the way, is he's 63 years old. So, no, this had to be like 40 years ago this happened. Okay, so 40 years ago. Away. So the 80s. Yeah, yeah. Was it in the 80s? Yeah. It was in the 80s. Was this the 80s? Yeah. I remember he this was, damn fight. 
Just so you know, he was a professional. And he was broken. Hey, he was broken. He was. He was a professional fighter from 1979 to 1992. Um, He held the WBA lightweight title from 82 to 84. Um, his nickname. So it was in '92 when it happened because he retired. He left. He retired right after. So I'm going to say yes. It was probably in 1992 where he um he had the unfortunate fight. Now here's the thing, Stephen. The guy he fought, if I remember correctly, was a damn good fighter, a professional trained fighter i just some reason the name kim comes in my i can't remember what his, his name, name is, was kim. the guy that he the guy that um he he fought and that did not make the fight was kim yeah. duck koo k-i-m-d-u-k-k-o-o from south korea okay. south korea yes i remember he was from south korea um I, I couldn't remember his whole name i didn't want to go like kim as an english smith you know and be all yeah. whatever just a whole bunch but of I, I i was pretty sure his name was kim something um yeah, yeah. but the point is he was a I remember him. I remember. I re- I can see that fight now. You've reminded yeah. me of it. He was. Um, it. It was. I remember there was a. It was terrible when it happened. And yep. then and 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 Boom Boom was running out in the ring. He was just. You could see. Yep. It destroyed him in an instant. He knew. What, I think yeah. he felt it. And and what I'm saying is, um, Jake, whatever his name is, is not. Mm-hmm. not he's not Kim. He's not this right. guy. Right. And these are two He's professional like fighters, yeah. and that, and that, exactly, and that's what can happen to yeah. a professional fighter. Yeah. Mike Tyson has done damage to big people. This guy is not in that league. I am worried. That, I don't care if Mike Tyson's a hundred. Yeah. The point is, he still the, the power is still there. I haven't yeah. seen lots of videos of him, but he right. he seems to. I've seen one or two. He certainly looks like he's he's kept it up. He's in good shape. I, I yeah. saw one thing of him doing a bit of moving yeah. and. I mean, he looks great. He's moving around. I mean, he kicked my ass. No problem. Easy. But, you know, whatever. Not much yeah. of a challenge. But I just, I I think the more, I mean, you, I just don't get it. It, it just seems yeah. very, the father in me is going, I mean, this kid could probably be my son. And right. I would be rather concerned if my son, even with all the training, got into the ring with Mike Tyson. It's right. stupid. Why? No, it's 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 I don't know. It's like taking on what is what's the what's the basketball guy taking Stephen Curry on in 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 a, in a three pointer? Are you are you out of your? What are you yeah. mad? It's the yeah. same thing though. Stephen yeah. Curry oh, might yeah. be the greatest three pointer if if I'm saying my terminology correctly that yeah. I that I know of. I mean, so I go no, I reckon I can shoot hoops too. Really? Are you shooting like me? Playing, Just by the way, if he if he beats you by two, you die. Right, right, right. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. I'll be fine. Yeah. It's it's like saying I'm going to take Michael Jordan on in a game on one on one. If you're like, it'd be like, and you actually point, think you might beat him. You actually, I, I'm lucky if I get a shot off. The only way Michael I'm getting a Jordan, shot or a basket if he lets me get it. If he had a blindfold on and his hand, yeah. he could still nose that in better than I could. <laughs> I was going to see. You'd still Fact. dunk it, and I'd be like, ah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. Now I'm saying yeah. that that kid is me, and Mike Tyson is Michael Jordan or yeah. Stephen Curry. Thanks, done. No, no, I get it. I just, think I, just be, I think it'll be interesting. I think for the people that'll watch it, I know there's a couple, there's a, two female fighters that are fighting for something. I think there's a couple more fights. So no one knows really ludicrous. what time the fight starts. So it's eight o'clock Eastern. They'll know when it ends, though. They'll know when it ends. You'll know. (laughs) Because every newspaper in the world is going to be like from the Financial Times or the New York Times or the Journal, so-and-so beat so-and-so. Wasn't this supposed to happen months ago, though, and they canceled? So, yeah, so here's what happened. I Because we thought that somebody backed out. So what happened is Michael apparently had, I want to say it was an appendicitis or a herniated disc or something while he was training. So he had to go to the hospital. So they postponed it for six months because this fight was supposed to happen in July. So now it's oh, happening. Okay, in July. July. All right, good. Yeah. Right. So now okay. it's happening, if you will, four or five months later, and uh, the hype is still there, and I think people still want to see it. And I watched something. Someone sent me an Instagram thing of these two guys at the weigh-in, and I'm telling you, these guys were in their 30s. One was in his 40s, and I thought they were going to have an orgasm when Mike Tyson entered the ring. They're like, oh, Jake Paul, whatever. And then Mike Tyson enters the ring, and it's just like, <gasps> they're like, dudes, calm down. You're like, For you sure. Know, For sure. Yeah, it's, it's like, I, I get it. The fight that I really wanted to see happen, though, yeah. remember that there, there was another fight that was going to happen, and they were talking smack to each other on their respective social media oh, companies. Mark Zuckerberg and Elon Musk. And, and Elon Musk. I would have, 
I would have been. The only problem is it's gonna be it's gonna be like this. I mean, it's, yeah, yeah. it's Laurel and Hardy. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah. what's Musk? He's about six three, and Zuckerberg's what about five seven? So yeah. it, it's gonna be like you know, like Tom Cruise. Well, no, let me get this straight. The the Tom Cruise, uh, the old Jack Reacher fighting the new Jack Reacher. <laughs> right. Yeah, the Jack, the Tom Cruise Jack Reacher at five six or seven, and, and, and Alan Rich, like Alan Rich, and yeah. The, yeah, exactly, the, yeah. the real Jack Reacher, like a, like a tree. Sorry, like Tom, tree. love your work, but you were too yeah. small to play Jack Reacher. Sorry. Um, good acting, not bad, but yeah. Jack Reacher's six foot five. He's got to be a big guy. If you've read yeah, the books, yeah. you know that. Okay, that's right. Well, um, most people don't read, so they don't know. So they're yeah. I, so. I must admit, when I saw that movie with. Uh, Especially that's that fight scene in the book. Right. I mean, Lee Child describes it perfectly. He comes out the out of the bar and, and he's and he's yeah. confronted by those four guys. And he says, you know, like one of you, he's going to break everyone's hands except right. for one because he needs to call the the, the, the ambulance or whatever it is. Yeah. But the thing is, um, I remember I could I could vividly picture that scene as it was described. And then I saw the movie and I went, but but Jack Reach is supposed to be an imposing figure, yeah. and. Like it or not, he's got to be a really tall guy. He's got to be, he's 6'5". Yeah. Lee Child, the author, I think is also 6'5", but he's right. like, you know, he's like that. But right. so, in, in fact, when I, when, I, when I listened to some of the uh, Lee Child commentary, he was saying that uh, Jack Reach is almost like a fantasy version of himself. Um, right, he's say. not, yeah. he, but certainly the height is a factor. Yeah. And 6'5 and is just imposing. 5'7 isn't really that imposing. And like, and when you walk out of a bar and there's a guy, love your work, man, but five seven, you should be in your car and leaving. You shouldn't be taking on four guys <laughs> unless you're Bruce Lee. Unless right. well, you're, Bruce Bruce Lee. you're Bruce Lee, then it, it's just that and then that's story. fine. That's yeah, okay. Yeah. But is it is it fair? I don't know, but it's just real. It, yeah, the yeah. Guy, guy psychology dictates if there's a big six foot five guy standing there who's six foot five that way as you well. Go. You should probably leave. Yeah. But well, if there's some chap they're talking smack and you go, I'm sorry, is there a problem? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna beat all of you up. You and and what leprechaun? You know, I'm just, right. I just I just just no, no. Anyway, sorry, it's not show. That's okay. Sorry. No, so uh, to, to th one, Tom Cruise is best. By the way, I love ever. short people. I love yeah. short people. Yeah, Carry but on, but Steve. This, you remember the song by Randy Newman, Short People? It was too long. I do. Anyway, I do. Um I do. the song was too long. Anyway, so <laughs> Tom Cruise's <laughs> best movie ever. <laughs> Think about it. It was that. too long. I see what you did there. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Thank you very little. Um, Tom Cruise's best movie, in my opinion, which he should have won an Academy Award for. Wait, Tropic wait, 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 wait. No, no. Tropic. Tropic. Oh, oh yes, Les. Bless oh. Yeah. That was the best. That was the best thing that yeah. Tom Cruise ever did. And unfortunately, yeah. he shouldn't have done that because when I saw him in that, I went, that's it. He yeah. needs to do that. He will never beat that. That is exact. And he was so good. He did that yes. whole. Yeah, the dancing. I mean, he even took yep. he even took classes for it because he's so obsessed with roles. Yeah. And I watched him talking about it. And he took that shit really, really seriously. Yeah. And he was crazy good in that. He was phenomenal. Yeah. And I thought it made everything else he's done. And I'm sorry, I like Mission Impossible, yeah. but but the role he plays is a little it it's a little pretentious. Yeah. If I look at old old well, was Les, whatever his name is, that's real. That's just yeah. And he, like you could Christmas see Christmas, that yeah. he enjoyed it. He was, yep. he was in the character. He yeah. loved it, and yeah. that's why I love the character because it was ridiculous. I want them and to make a Les Grossman movie. That's what yeah. I want. I want them Les to do a Grossman. movie with Tom. Come on, yeah. Steve, quickly, go to buy the rights. Let's go. Let's go and register the rights on Les rights. Grossman. Yeah, <gasps> call Tom and go, Tom. This is, we should make a full length movie. Les Grossman. Like, that's Les Grossman, Tropic Thunder returns. Oh, come that on. Awesome. Could you imagine what that would be like? That would be the best. I so, love that movie. It was so I good. Do, but so I, good. But I, I do. I watched an interview no. with Matt Damon once where he said he was having dinner with Tom Cruise. And he said, what made you jump off like the Burj Khalifa and all the other stuff? He goes, how did that happen? And he said, well, you know how it goes. And he says, you know, Tom gets really intense. He gets in my face and he's telling me, he goes, well, first, my safety guy says, you can't do it. It's too dangerous. And Matt Damon says, well, then what did you do? He says, I got another safety guy. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, so you're just like, you're going to do your stunts. I mean, I'm looking forward to this next Mission Impossible movie because I'm assuming, you know, the motorcycle stunt that he did, which, and this last one was very cool. I can't wait to see. The yeah, next he, broke his, he broke his ankle. And that, well, that one really? we jumped. 
Well, he was jumping between those. There was also that one who was oh, no, jumping no, no, between the buildings. Between the buildings. I'm talking oh, about sorry, the, the motorcycle off the cliff. Yeah. Do you know that he filmed one of the scenes? He filmed some stuff here. I don't exactly oh, really? know where. He did okay. some stuff here. He was in there okay. filming stuff. Don't you remember when he was at the award ceremony? He was talking about Ubuntu, being oh, yeah, in South yeah, yeah. Africa, talking about Ubuntu. He did a whole, right. I don't know what part. I watched them. I watched what that was Dead Reckoning One. So right, we, right. we, this will be. South Africa will be in Dead Reckoning 2. I'll be watching for it because we will know all the scenes. But right, there's right. A, there was a post of him. He was in a plane hanging out, you know, no safety thing, as Tom Cruise yeah. does. And going, hey, hi, South Africa. It's so nice being here. It's so great. You got a great country. I, Whatever. I saw the trailer. That's him hanging off of a little biplane. Um, I saw that. I'm thinking. Of course he is. I yeah. do that. Yeah. I'm like, okay, this is going to be interesting. So, yeah. So, but I want him to make a full thing, full <laughs> Full full movie with Les Grossman, the movie yes. producer, because that's yes. me. That was his. I'll that watch it. His best. I would put all day up. long, but he's got to do this. He's got to be the same prick he was in Tropic. Yes. Hunter. No. Absolutely. And he's got to be. Bill hang Finger. on. Let's think of us. He's got to be a guy. What, what does he do? He just. I don't care what he does. He can do anything. He can hire and fire. Wait. Oh, yeah. oh Stephen. The new apprentice. Yes, <laughs> new I was going to say that. I'm you pulled it out of my mouth. I was going, Les Grossman, The Apprentice. Can you imagine him firing I like people? It. I like it. I like it. Get out of my office. Oh, I mean, I like it. Not really that different. I mean, well, same thing, except this one's <laughs> more comical, maybe. I don't know. So that would be awesome. Yeah. Les Grossman in The Apprentice. So, oh, listen, I would watch face. that. I would watch that. Oh, I would love it. But but you know what would be great? No, this would this is no, not a movie, a reality show. And Tom oh, Cruise, Tom as Cruise Les as Les Grossman, and he yeah. stays in character. So yeah. what it does is the it's the same format, it's the same thing. Right. The people go out and they do marketing things and try to whatever, and they come back in and report back on what they've done. And right. he just reviews what they've done. They have a debriefing session right. on what they've done and who they've tried to sell to. And he just looks at it and goes, this is some fucking bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> right. And he loses it. And he, but yeah. he stays in character. character. And then you pan to the people watching and they're like, but this is Tom right. Cruise. Right. Who the fuck is Tom right. motherfucking Cruise? Right. And he stays right. in that. And awesome. then you cut to them and you watch them and they don't know yeah. at what point it's going to be. Oh, it's not. Oh, it's not Tom. Cr oh, that. That. Yeah. Yes. Brilliant. I think so. Ben Stiller's huh? the one who developed the character with Tom Cruise. Yes. So ben, if you're watching, which we know you do because you send comments to us. Um, yes. And you want us to plug you because everyone's forgotten about you. Um, please write a movie for Tom Cruise. He's <laughs> like, really? Please. When's the last time you heard of Ben well, Stiller? Never. Well, I heard they made another Transformers movie. So if they can make another <laughs> bullshit movie yeah. like Transformers, I think another Les, I think Les Grossman, oh, uh, yeah. Tropic Thunder, not call yeah. it Tropic Thunder too. I don't know, Tropic Thunderous, Tropic Thunderous, the Les yeah. Grossman return. I don't know, something like that. That would be awesome. But you got to have Bill Hader play his assistant still, because I love the at the end where he's like, you know, you're going to go to the parties and take all the credit. And he's like, no, I would never do that. He goes, good, because he's a trained monkey can do your job. <laughs> yes, yes. The best. The best. What about, what about, um, this could be interesting because I've seen dozens of podcasts on this. What about Robert Downey Jr. coming back as the Aussie guy yes. playing an African American? Oh yeah, and you couldn't do that today, but definitely do that. I just, you know, what's interesting, and and I don't stir the pot a bit here. I've, it's interesting to see who says you can't do it, and yeah, it's yeah. interesting to see who says what's your problem, man? Bullshit. We loved it. Now, yeah, I loved it. I thought it was. I've. Great. This is a straw poll. I mean, it's just a few people, but. Yeah. Of the people I've seen, let me just say this delicately, the people that you would imagine that might right. be offended by it think it's fantastic. They love yes. it. The people that are on some social justice warrior mission, yeah, they don't think so. I'm going, but well, you should, what exactly, why don't you ask people, check with people, yeah. because the spirit of it is funny. Right. That's what it is. Everyone is very clear. No one's being mocked. It's a yeah. character. It is fiction in a movie. That's what it is. I will say though, what was what was the phrase? Oh, I never go full retard. That's right. That was the best. <laughs> By the That's way, the best. if my friend, if I if French is correct, retard is from the the French for retard, which means to wait. I think it's wait, ah. wait or late. Ah, en retard. Never go full. En retard. Wait. 
So basically, if you are, are retarded, you are mentally waiting. I don't know. I don't know. Very interesting. interesting. Something like I, that. I don't know. I probably I, like got all said, my be, my things I all screwed all up. But it's... Zach Black. Who now all of them. Like Santa Claus. Steve Coogan. Yeah. The great Steve yeah. Coogan. He's dead, though. Who appeared for about a second. Back. Yeah. Huh? He was he blown up. You can't bring him back because he could Alan die. Partridge. Alan Partridge. Yeah. Oh, Alan Partridge. Oh, that's a great. That's a great. That, he's funny. Well, that's Steve Alan Coogan. Partridge. That's yeah, the, I know. He can come back. He can come back as Alan Partridge and talk about what an ass Steve Coogan is. Oh, that would be, that would be they'll just I'm bring him back in yeah. it doesn't it doesn't have to make sense he's just That's back right. but he's now back. he's back as ellen partridge or and he's, he's working with les grossman oh. oh my god the best that would be now that's a movie that's a movie yeah. that would be very funny you know what you want to say you know what lee child talked when i was when i did his writer's course or whatever he said yeah. this is the thing when you're writing a story it's not right. the story the story is almost immaterial every story right. has been done don't worry about a story right the story is not important it is important but it's not the be all and the end all neither right. is the title of the book uh, right. because people don't remember the guy there was that what do people remember they remember characters they remember Captain right. kirk they remember spock they remember yeah. jack reacher they remember james bond they don't right. necessarily remember all the plots of the movies and who did what right, to right, do, right. but they remember the characters now yeah. when you look like tropic thunder you're thinking les grossman Ah, yeah. You know, and you're thinking, you're thinking all these characters in the movie. Um, right. What was the guy's name? Kurt. Kurt. In in Les uh, uh, Robert Downey Jr.'s character. I don't even think of I it. I can't now. remember his name. Yeah. But what you are remembering is the character, correct? Not the story. So you yeah. can bring all those characters back. Bill Hader, yeah. You know, and 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 Ben Stiller, and and Nick Nolte. No, Hello. yeah, Nick can come back. If, I Nick can come back. Oh. I don't know if Nick's can come here enough. To Does, it back. Does it matter? Does it matter? Just need him. So. Well, if you can't get Nick Nolte, get Gary Busey. Oh, no, wait a minute. Hang on. No, I'm kidding. That's I'm big. kidding. Big. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I mean, you know, six of one. Yeah, six um, and a half doesn't know another difference. <laughs> so. but, but, but it doesn't, it would be, oh, hang on. We've forgotten. Um, did you mention Jack Black? Yes, I did. I said the guy who looks like Santa Claus now. You gotta love the great Jack. Black. What is what is with that? What is going on there? I with think Jack after Black? after during COVID, he just kind of forgot to shave. <laughs> Somebody should I mean, remind him. Somewhere like, there is yeah. Jack Black. What is and that? Little, and he got a, and he got a little more stout. I've noticed he's a little uh, chunkier. Than he used to be. Yeah. You know who else forgot uh, has has forgotten how to shave? One of my favorite late night hosts, and that was David Letterman. Oh, well, Letterman, though, after he retired, he has that nice Santa Claus beard. I want to sit on his lap and see what gift I get. So, you know, wow. that's kind of, well, yeah, how so, <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> so He was great. Yeah. He was great. I, love, I, I once, I saw him once. I saw him yeah. once when I was there, went to the taping of the show. He was great. Yeah, yeah. And I saw John Stewart a few times. I'm, I like John Stewart. I'm a, I'm a big fan of John Stewart, not just because of what he, of the show, but right. if you, if you've ever been to the recording of his show, uh, and the tickets are free, and he tells you all the time how crap you are as an audience. And just remember, these tickets are free. He keeps telling right. you that. Um, but when you sit down uh, before the show, he comes right. through and he talks to everybody for quite a while, and he is yeah. phenomenally engaging, super smart, and just um, nothing changes. Yeah. I think what he why he does that is it gets him into that conversational mode with the audience, and right. then it just carries on when he gets behind yeah. the desk. It's actually very, it's a very good warm up technique because yeah. he's not really performing. He's not a right. performer. He's not performing. It's just that oh, oh, ooh, all of that stuff. Yeah. And and when, before the show starts, he warms up and he does. He's very he's fantastic. Uh, yeah. I'm glad he's back. Uh, John, if you're listening, please do more than one night. And yeah, I please. speak for many people. What yeah. is this Monday night dial it in bullshit? No, please. <laughs> uh, I, I'm sure. not saying the other hosts aren't great. They're great they too. No, they but suck. Okay, fine. It's not John. Oliver. It's hey, listen. The, the John Oliver. They're like not John bad. Oliver, Come on, and Stephen. I like. I like. I like, I, like, I like John Stewart. Those are the only two that could actually do the Daily Show. Well, they it, don't have any good hosts. Even the Chinese guy, Ronnie Chan or whatever, he's okay. But no, it's he's not John Stewart. You know There's why no though? Yeah, but you not, know what the problem? Well, what the problem? what they've done having John Stewart there is actually a bad thing for the other hosts because. If you watch the show five nights a week, you are very conscious that the other four are not John Stewart. That's I was the problem. Of that when John Stewart left, that all those. No, I know, but now you know that. Yes, especially right. his 
replacement who I will, she will not rename. Name. Okay. But the point is, yes, um, I'm a big John Stewart fan. But the problem is when he's there every yeah. week and you go, oh, John Stewart, that was great. And the next yeah, yeah. day you've gone from, from uh, five star and you're on three star and two yeah, star. Yeah. Now, if you're just getting three star, two star, three star, two star, and I'm being generous because Stephen wants to give you a zero star, um, <laughs> then the then it, then you don't you go okay, it's all right. But then yeah. suddenly the five star comes along, and you go, oh, I know oh. what I'm missing. Yeah, I know what I'm missing now. Yeah, this is what I. Why am I watching this crap? Because right. John, can you at least if you could just do Monday and maybe Friday. The start of the end uh, of the week. And then, How about and then that? Tuesday and Wednesday. How about that? And Thursday would be good too. Well, think about it. So, yeah. Maybe yeah. just do bits or and eventually yeah. take over the show. Yeah. I know. Yeah, yeah, but no. still. It's kind of like I when would... Carson left. I, I I would remember watching Johnny Carson and then like I liked Letterman. I like Carson. <laughs> Jay Leno was okay, but he wasn't Carson or Letterman. And now these other hosts like Seth Myers and Jimmy Fallon and whoever else they've got. I'm uh, oh, and, uh, 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 Col well, Colbert, yeah. See, I like him when he played I don't the mind character. Stephen. He's I don't okay. mind Stephen. I liked him better really? when he was doing the Colbert rapport. I thought that was yeah, good. Was, but I don't like it him was a bit more fun. Yeah. Don't you? I, and, so, yeah. and who's the other guy? Oh, uh, Jim, not um, Kimmel. 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 I remember Kimmel when he first started. I liked him. I don't like him as much. What now. was that? What was that show that he started with? Him and um, Adam. Oh. Adam, whatever. Um, yeah, the man show. Ab Ab Corolla, Adam Carolla. Adam Carolla, the man show. Adam Carolla, yeah, the man show. Oh, and that was, was all right. And he was on Winbin Stellar's Money. I the man show was insane. The man show was great. I love that. <laughs> that so. the problem is every time I see Jimmy Kimmel now, yeah. I, yeah. I, I see the man show and I go, okay, when are we getting to that part? Why yeah, are we yeah, being yeah. so lame? And he's yeah. good. Look, I, I I know what you may think of him. I actually enjoy him. I think he's all right. I think he's pretty good, one of the better ones. I don't um, think it's not that I don't enjoy him. I just I there's something missing. Um, I think yeah, a lot of it's like Johnny you know, Carson. Carson. <laughs> well, because Carson, back in the day when you what saw you someone on Carson, that was a big deal. Now yeah. I think it's not a big deal. So you have some guy on and comes and talks about a movie or whatever. So and even if you like the guy or girl that comes on and talks, it's sort of like there just doesn't seem to be. Like what Carson had with them, and I don't know. But what But you know it what, was. Stephen? You, yeah. you know what it is. I, I don't know if this is true. Um, this is my theory. My theory is that for you anyway. I'm just saying yeah. for you, so, uh, Johnny. So you would you would have seen Johnny Carson, and you would have been in what your 20s and 30s. Am I about right? I would have, I would right? have been in. I would have been like from five years old until he retired. Okay. So, so retired. you grew up. So you grew up with Johnny Carson. Yeah, yeah. Right. So you you saw him at a time when you were growing up. And I'm not saying this is going to get awkward, but he was almost like a, a fatherly figure in a way, sort of. He provided that yeah. sort of, all right. What I'm saying is by the time you got to where you are now, and now you look at yeah. people like Kimmel, you, there's no ways they're going to have that same authority for you, even though right. they might be of a similar age to what Johnny Carson was. I'm not saying that's that's why yeah. you liked him more, but there is something to be said. So if someone is Stop 10, watching. 15, watching Jimmy yeah. Kimmel now, for example, yeah. they might see him in the same Different. way that you saw Johnny Carson, Carson. when you were but a kid. Carson had, yeah. a, Carson had a savoir faire about him. That's yeah, well, it was a different time. And there was a lot more he could get away with that right, you can't right. do. My that. point is, I think yeah. I enjoyed that part of his. I like mm -hmm. Graham Norton out of the UK. Graham Norton has a savoir faire about I him. I enjoy Graham Norton, too. Yeah. He's one so of my, I, I like, he I might like be Graham my Norton. favorite current talk shows. And you know, there's another reason why I like Graham Norton. Sure. Um, out of all the talk show hosts, I'm trying to think. Larry King had a bit of this. Um, Graham Norton has the ability to make everybody feel comfortable. That's Thank what you. I enjoy about him. Yeah. He, he, people will come on. And if you look at the guests he has, it's impressive the, yeah. how different they are. And he manages to get them all onto the couch. Right. <laughs> that sounded better in my head. Yeah. They're all on the couch. Graham, you got us all on the couch. Now what? And they get the drink. Um, <laughs> someone get them a drink before we get started. No, right. but, it's, but he doesn't... It's it's they you, you watch them walk out and they have that typical they yeah, walk yeah. out and they're a little stiff. I mean, there's that I remember when Kevin Costner went on to Graham Norton, he came on, and he was a bit like, you know, it I can imagine why he felt that way. He thought, oh God, yeah. they're gonna be there's all this he, he is who he is. He's given Costner, yeah. but he's thinking, uh, feeling a bit of the judgment and this, and maybe something was going on and there was been media social media crap about him. They these stars walk on and they go, Oh God, what am I gonna be facing now? 
Right. And they sit down, hello everybody, hello. They're in the UK, they're not in the US now, so I don't know what's going on. Do they do they do they have water and running water and I don't know. <laughs> so he sits down and then Graham strikes up a conversation and then you just watch their body language yeah. just changes. changes. They just yeah. he cracks up a few things. So Kevin, so I saw you in the um in Yellowstone. Oh yeah. I gotta tell you that, that you had that sort of that shirt on. That, that was it, like a, yeah. and then Kevin will finish. Yes, that was it. And it had all those mm. weird buttons on. And then you had the big hats. Oh, mm. I love that. You know, Kevin, I love hats. They say, oh, do you, do you, and he tells me, do you know that big hat he had on? Oh, yeah. Kevin, oh, sorry. I just, did I, did I just do Graham Norton? I'm sorry. Anyway, but, yeah. but he, but, but he's so, he's just a lovely guy. And they just, yeah. they relax with him. And yeah. I don't know that. And there's no you don't the Graham Norton may have an agenda, but you don't feel it. I all feel right. all the other talk show hosts globally, um, with the exception of that Irish fellow. What's his name? Tommy Tommy Tiernan. I think his name's Tommy Tiernan. He's okay. phenomenal. I think he's. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry if I've got your name wrong, Tommy. He's an Irish talk show host. He is phenomenal. He okay. also has the. But then Graham Norton's also Irish, so maybe maybe it's maybe it's, an, maybe it's an Irish thing. I. I'm, I, I think it might be that too after COVID because I remember when he Who's never that? had a beard. Graham Norton. Who's that? I remember he had no beard. Yeah. Remember Graham Norton but, had no but, beard, and now all of a sudden he forgot to shave. He looks better okay, with the beard. I was going to say this is going to be awkward now um, because you know, but I think um, Graham. Um, he's uh, just uh, pump the brakes. By the way, Graham, don't worry. This is oh. just a comment on your beard, but I think it, <laughs> I definitely, I definitely think it seems to work for him. I don't know about Jack yeah. Black though. And I don't no, know. No, Jack looking like Jack looking like a homeless Santa Claus. Just, just something like if you're his wife, you got to be like, honey, 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 honey. The kids are in there. Come on, shave but, the beard. But Letterman, so, I, I'm like, I understand you want to have a bit of a shit, but but it's like so. What is no, that? No, no, he's cut it down. Last time I saw him on an interview, it's he like was he's, he's he was looking like a looking like a druid, like a wizard. Yeah, Ooh, yeah. David. I think he's trying oh, out for the Harry oh. Potter. I didn't want to put makeup on, but now they wouldn't they need it. it. Just put yeah, a, no, now, just put that, 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 what that hat, that, that, yeah. what's it, that, yeah. what do they the call it? The, the, the selector hat. What's it called? The thing that chooses it. your house. Oh, you're what? not a Harry Potter fan. No, they I put know, that hat really. on you. I, I keep points. So no, they put that uh, yeah, pointer yeah. hat on you and it decides what, know. okay. Know. Well, you put that on David and he's give him my, give him give him one of those, give him one of those old fashioned coats. Dave, you're good to go. How's your how, in the house. what? Yeah, what accent are you going to be doing for us, David? You've got to be. It's got to be an, an English accent. <laughs> David does one accent in Midwest. <laughs> no, no, he's great. Is it? Where's he from? He's from Indiana, isn't he? I think he's from Indiana. Yeah, I mean, Paul. Yeah, he's so from like, Indiana. David, yeah. David had the kind of like Carson kind of persona where he could put ninety yeah. percent of the guests at ease. There were some guests that know, but a lot of these, like, I'll watch an interview with Fallon or these other people, and they like. Some even Kimball sometimes it's just compatible. Like they don't, the guest doesn't even want to be there. And I'm like, wow, yeah, you're publicity like River Phoenix. Like, oh, yeah. God, did you ever see the River Phoenix? Not River yeah. Phoenix, Wacken Phoenix. Sorry, Wacken sorry, Phoenix, River. Yeah, God, that was the most awkward thing ever. And David was just like, <laughs> yeah, but that's what I'm saying. It's like for the most part, but some of these guys, I'm just like, wow, they don't even want to be there. I mean, there's some people that are constantly on the show, you so you know, they're like, they like him. Or like whoever, but there's others. I'm like, yeah, no, but like to your point, Graham Norton. Everyone seems to come on and just be like, oh, cool, I'm hanging out. There's yeah. another what? host. I'm trying to think of his name. Hang on, hang on. I got, I got to give you his name. Okay. Um, wait a minute, wait a minute. Um, wait, wait, wait. Actually, wait, wait. wait. Okay, I'm, I am, I'm going to, I'm going to cancel everything I said. I have remembered who my favorite, favorite talk show host is of okay. all time. Okay, of all time. Are you ready for this? Okay. Of all time. Yeah. You ready for this? I'm totally, ready. totally underutilized in the years. And that was the great Craig Ferguson. I Done. love Craig Ferguson. He was Craig, phenomenal. Craig Ferguson. Sorry, yeah. Graham. I love you, but Craig for me is has has is he's just got that extra. Oh my yeah. God. Craig Ferguson. Wow. No, he was he was my favorite. But yeah. He was, that, and, he was and, dirty. I liked him. Uh, he, he was, was very dirty with the double of But he could pull it off. Best. But he yeah. could pull it off. And 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 not everybody. Other hosts do that and they go, what are you doing? Yeah. But he just, he was just, yeah. No, that that's, he was, yeah. There's your man. There you go. Craig Ferguson. So we've gone from Mike Tyson 
to Craig Ferguson. So we've gone from boxing to what? Hosting? I don't know. Weird. Hosting. We, you know, and, we, I, and, I, and we didn't discuss the UFO hearing yesterday in the U.S. So look at that. What was that? Yeah. It was a UFO. No. Congress had a UFO hearing about extraterrestrials, and they had all these government witnesses talking about, you know, what they know and don't know. So I will say this quickly before we go, and that uh -huh. is um, – did you ever watch a movie called Contact? Everybody, I read the book and saw the movie. The book is better. Great. The book is better, and I will say this. Uh, if you've uh, – spoiler alert. Yeah. Goodbye if you don't want to watch the, no, the end. I'm not going to yes. spoil the end, but I do think if you've mm -hmm. watched the movie, which you have, yeah. Yeah. Um, the movie is phenomenal. Up until the last scene where James Woods – watches three hours of tape and they they, they realize that there was all this blank tape and you go right. yeah that is interesting you didn't have to put that in that that destroyed the movie for me that last scene where they yeah. explained it why the fuck did you do that the movie right. it had to be the movie was just one big question mark and then you mm -hmm. went and just went ah oh, you see it's all bullshit that was that was disappointing am i right that was silly why would you put that scene in Anyway, just my five cents worth. Public, a public is too stupid to figure things out. No, that was the point. It was a, yeah. the whole thing was a giant question. Everything yeah, yeah, in contact was one giant question. Why That's do you have Carl to Sagan answer it? it? Well, yes, exactly. Carl Sagan, Carl yeah. Sagan was about the big question, not yeah. necessarily having answers. That was the point. It was about questioning. And then he wrote, I guess, a fictionalized view of a big question and then they went and answered it and you go oh for fuck's sake wow come here what are you the producer anyway that's not what i wanted that's not what i wanted to say there's a scene where david morse david morse's character is walking along the beach and jody foster yeah. walks up to him um and 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 uh, oh was it before then anyway they're talking about is there another life form or whatever and she and yeah. he says well if there isn't then all the space in the universe is just a huge waste of space right and the reason and the reason i'm saying that is i don't know if there is and i don't know if there isn't but it is always interesting to me that if you look at where the sightings are reported and where they are not it just seems right. like in some parts of the world they don't see ufos and some parts they do which yeah. suggests to me something else is going on here that being said my late father actually did see something which he could never explain so oh. you know. uh that's a whole you never show he, I yeah, that we should do one day I, the UFO I, show. I've always thought, I've always thought that if there is, if you're if you're smart enough to mm -hmm. figure out space and time and bend things and get into the fourth dimension or whatever, are you going to be that dumb that you're going to make yourself that visible to us and 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 panda? You're not going to do that. They could be right next to us. Why well, would they, they why they, do they need they to be said, why do they need to be obvious? They don't need to be what obvious. they said what they said yesterday, which I thought was interesting, uh -huh. which is very true. If you read history back to antiquity, back millions of years ago, they've been there's been UFOs since then, right? There's right. The cavemen had everybody. So they've always been here. But I think what's happening now is one, the public has the phone with a camera, yeah. they're oh, catching God. it. Right. Everyone's yeah. like, no one's living life. They're all filming things. So I think what's happening now is you're catch. They're catching more from passengers on airplanes to hell, whatever it might be. So they were saying, it's not that there's more sightings. It's more just evidence. now that everybody more, has a camera. More devices. More devices. Yeah. And so they, they, what oh, they okay. basically said in the hearing, which Fair I thought enough. was interesting, the government just needs to come clear that, yes, they know that there's extraterrestrials. We know something. that there's something. Just come clean with it. Um, because what's happening is, is the public at this point doesn't believe or trust the government, which is what they all kept saying, which is interesting, which is true. And they're all like, you know, at some point, there'll just be a disaster and you can't cover it up. It's not 1947 Roswell anymore. Like you can't cover it up because 9 million people will be click, 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 click. And it's going to be hard to confiscate 9 million cameras. I'll, exactly. And that's okay. why we know the Earth is in flat, because there are on 63 space agencies around the world ensuring that satellite systems all operate in uh, accordance with each other. That just doesn't happen. I want to just say this, though, before we, yeah. uh, go. Before um, we go. Just right back to what just happened in your country. Yeah. I don't care. It's your problem. I'm sure it'll be fine. I mean, disaster, peace, whatever. 
Um, really, it doesn't. It it it. Who gives a shit? But I think. Nominated to be yeah, no, no, Mark whatever. No, it, I mean, yeah, I, I love yeah. your what the Matt Gates, the Attorney General. Yeah, fine, yeah. cool, whatever, great, I sure. Um, awesome. and and uh, whatever, it's fine. I don't care. Fox and, News and maybe, commentary guys, as Secretary of Defense. Cool, yeah, you gotta love it. Cool. I don't know. And 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 what? Um, Mike, Mike, uh, what's his name? Appleby. <laughs> I can be sorry, Michael Appleby. Yes, Michael Huckabee or Appleby. Uh, Mike Appleby. Michael, Michael Appleby Huckabee is that wasn't be, even intentional, and it I came know. out Appleby. Mike Appleby. Michael Appleby. Michael Mike Appleby. Appleby. <laughs> He's going to be the ambassador to Israel. You, there'll be a war. I'm the. Well, the, the I mean, I, I don't, as I say, I don't have a dog in that fight, but it's yeah. interesting that you've got an ambassador going there who thinks that the half the issue on the people, they don't exist. But I mean, anyway, that's another story. I'm yeah. not going to get into that. Um, good good luck with that. Best of luck. I mean, yeah. that just seems like the, I mean, yeah, it's like we have uh, Miss Universe and we appoint uh, Putin as our ambassador to Mars. I mean, that's going to be oh, great. I like anyway. it. Am I right? That would work. I, but what yeah. I want to say is some, some, there was a comment that came out the UK and they were talking about people were, they were having all sorts of reactions. And the one guy, this was very good. I thought this is a good closing. He said, the problem he said in the US is he said, we said we're here in the UK. We don't treat our politicians like rock stars. You've got to stop yeah. doing that. They work for you. You've got to remember that you can't vote whoever the hell you want. That's fine. But just yeah. remember, you're the boss. They are not the boss. It we says we president. Said president means, yeah, but no, but he was right. He says there's this almost adulation which has yeah. crept in, the savior mentality that someone's right. going to, you, no one, you don't need anyone to save you. You can save yourself, yeah. but That's you true. need someone to help you save yourself. You don't need someone to save you. And, mm -hmm. and the moment you've got someone else saving you, you're in deep shit. So right. stop having someone save you. Save yourself. Figure out what you need to save yourself and then right. find the person to do that. I mean, it's like sitting in your bar, sitting in your house and you want someone to do your kitchen. And 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 so you hire them to do your kitchen. They don't take over your house. They right. serve you. They fix your kitchen. They fix that. They fix that. But ultimately, you are the boss of that project, right. not them. They get no share in your house unless you don't pay them. But I'm saying that's that's I thought that was great. Yeah. Don't treat you. We, we don't treat politicians as rock stars because they're not. They right. they they. You're the man for whatever happens. That's it, yeah. and that's it. I mean, honestly, mm -hmm. uh, Steve, people can moan about whoever um, has been appointed in the U.S. I mean, honestly, it, it doesn't really matter. You don't have a yeah. monarchy there yet. You you have not you have January. a <laughs> yeah. And 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 as somebody said in one of the podcasts that I watched, or myriad of broadcasts that I've seen on this. They said they showed a picture of the U.S. I think it was 1984. When yeah. when did Walter Mondale lose to Reagan? Was it 84? 84. I don't know. Was yeah. it 84? Right. Oh, that's right. Because he beat Jimmy Carter in 1980. Right. Okay. So, right. so 84. I'm all right. I'm not even an American. Yeah. I know this. Yeah, stuff. Yeah, 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 84. Yeah. Exactly. What do you know about us, people? 84. <laughs> um, it was Reagan and Mondale. And I think. Don't correct me. Don't correct me. I think. I think. That Mondale won Minnesota. Am I right? Maybe. I think so. That was it. That yeah. was it. So the whole map was red. Yeah. And then four years later, no, no, no. Eight years later. Eight years. Whenever it was, it all went blue. So yeah. things change. But we'll the problem is, fun. but it's got to change for a reason. And if you keep right. thinking people are saviors, then then it's just going to go blue, red, blue, red, blue. And well, then my new campaign for the 2028 election, because I'll be running for president, is I am your savior. Oh, good. So there you go. There hey, you go. Stephen, yeah. I'm just going to, sorry, can I scratch <laughs> his name off the ballot? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I would say it. I wouldn't know. You I can write, me, I wouldn't but you me. can write, is it true? You can actually write, if you're not happy with a candidate, you can actually write another person's name on the ballot. Is that true? I I, I, that. I think so. I, I think that may be. Apparently, a, Chris, apparently Chris Kramer did that. He put his brother's name on the ballot when he went through, and he and he wrote oh, okay. Andrew Cuomo, and then he though, voted that if way. It, if it was if it was popular vote, I could see where that is. Then you get like a town that gets together. Hey, you know what we'll do for shits and giggles? Let's make Bob the president of the United States. You know, and then Bob gets more votes than a pop. You know, it could be interesting. Well, Stephen, one of the great things about the U.S. is that anyone can be president. So that's apparently it. just saying. Except that's if the be born here, or Arnold would have been president. 
Don't worry. I mean, there's always an amendment, and maybe one day, um, ladies and gentlemen, you will have your first African American president, proper one, and his name will be Elon Musk. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That's there awesome. you go. Uh, the end of the world. Oh, you're sorry, your second one. Second one. Sorry, yes, your we second had Obama. One. But he was an African American. He was just yeah, a black but... guy that became president. How African was he really, though? Elon is the deal. He was born in Africa. He's the he's, he's the proper deal. American, I know. Yeah, I, I agree. He's the deal. Anyway, good well, luck with that. Yeah, thanks, Steve. <laughs> That's a good thought for the week. I can't wait to go through the rest of the week. Where's my where's where's my? Hey, book? Steve. Hey, it's what? a you. It's a you problem. No, I'm kidding. I'm I know, sorry. I know. It's actually an our problem, unfortunately. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, it's a global problem right now, it especially is. the, the cabinet he's picking. But that's a show That's for fun. maybe next week's show for fun. We'll invite Mr. Trump on again and see if he shows up. Anyway, I will say, I will yes. say, I'm very happy though. I I, I wanted yeah. to say this last week. I'm very happy that 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 uh, Trump has been reelected. I am I am okay. thrilled because okay. I would have been hauled over the coals if I had impersonated Kamala Harris. Yes. So I can do I can do Trump. That's fine. I'm allowed to. So that's great. Four years of material. Here we come. This Tremendous. is awesome. You and Saturday Night Live. Tremendous. Huge. Oh okay. You only use the biggest words. The best words. <laughs> guys it was good to see all of you this thursday we'll see you next thursday uh, rebroadcast at noon on thursdays if you don't catch the show live and you can catch us wherever you get your podcasts for podcasting two old farts making noises on youtube we're under 2of entertainment and that is it kids we'll see you all next week don't forget to subscribe and like cheers everybody thanks <laughs> Thank you so much for listening to this Roald Woods, Rob Vega, whatever the hell he wants to call himself, fellow. You know, this this podcast thing, it, it makes him feel very important and he's a difficult fellow as it is to deal with. So thank you so much for putting up with him and, and do take care.